<laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking Seattle Seahawks news. Technically, technically it's breaking news. The Seahawks have made a move. Oh, they have made a move all right. Per Brady Henderson on Twitter, Pete Carroll says the Seahawks just signed running back Adrian Peterson to their practice squad. I'm not going to read the rest of the tweet because it's irrelevant and stupid, but the Seahawks have signed Adrian Peterson to their practice squad, almost certainly with the intention of activating him for upcoming games. And... I, okay, number one, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal, I get that, I understand that, people, it, it doesn't matter that much, especially in a season like this, nothing you do really matters that much at this point, <laughs> but I I got some stuff to talk about here, There, there th this is emblematic of something, okay? This is representative of something that I really don't like with this team. And I'm going to get into it. And yes, I'm going to use this meaningless, pointless move as an excuse to go into it a little further. <clears throat> so let's uh, start with the positives of this move. The, the, the silver lining here. If you are a Seattle Seahawks fan and you're a huge Adrian Peterson fan for some reason, like he's your favorite player or one of your favorite players. Maybe you're a Sooners fan too. Maybe you just really liked Adrian Peterson. Now you can buy an Adrian Peterson Seahawks jersey. So that's cool. I'm not a jersey guy anyway. I'm not a huge Adrian Peterson fan. He's cool, but I'm not going to buy his jersey, so it doesn't affect me. But if you are a Seahawks fan, now you can go legitimately get an Adrian Peterson Seahawks jersey and be like, hey, remember when Adrian Peterson played for us for a couple weeks? Remember when he joined us at the tail end of a lost season? So that's the first positive. And I think it's the last positive too, because what in the world are we doing? So you had the opportunity to go sign veterans two months ago when the season was starting to slip away from you. Guys like Geno Atkins. Guys like Odo Beckham Jr. Although maybe you did try to sign him and he decided to go to L.A. no matter what, regardless of money. Okay, whatever. You had the opportunity to go trade for players who could have helped you like um, Stephon Gilmore or C.J. Henderson. Now is the time to go get an aging veteran player, Pete. Now is that time when we're 3 and 8, 15th place in the NFC, so far out of the playoff race that anybody who even mentions the word playoffs with regards to the Seahawks needs to be laughed out of the room immediately. Now is the time to go get a veteran. Now is the time to go see if somebody has a little bit of gas left in the tank. It's not after losing to the Vikings in week 3, not after losing to the Rams and losing Wilson in week 5. No, now you're going to go get an expensive veteran. Oh, I'm sorry, not expensive, but now you're going to get a well past his prime veteran. Oh my God. So, look, people are going to compare this to the Marshawn Lynch thing two years ago. That was okay. We still had things to play for that year. We, we were in the playoffs that year. All of our running backs got hurt. We still had things to play for. We were still going to the playoffs. We still had a chance to make a run. So we got somebody who we knew didn't have a lot left in the tank, but we thought he had a little bit left in the tank, and we needed somebody who was going to be effective or semi-effective for us right then and there. That was cool. Why are we doing it now? We have nothing left to play for this season, and I know Pete Carroll doesn't agree with that, but that further lends credence to his raw, unadulterated stupidity and delusion 
And it's one thing to go out there and say, hey, man, we're still mathematically alive for the playoffs. I'm going to try to win every game. Like, that's fine. That's whatever. But it's another thing to actually do something like this. There are young players on this team who might actually be part of the future. Adrian Peterson's not going to be part of this team's future. Is Adrian Peterson going to be... Is he going to sign a three-year deal with the Seahawks after this season and be part of a Super Bowl run in 2025? No. No chance. Look, I'm not saying Josh Johnson's the next coming of Marshawn Lynch. I'm not saying that B.J. Emmons would be something worth keeping around on a team. Almost certainly not. But at least find out. At least take this opportunity to find out. You've got six games left in a lost season. The only value you can get out of these six games is to see what is worth saving. Adrian Peterson is not going to be worth saving going forward. We know that. Even if he runs for 1,000 yards against the 49ers next week, it doesn't matter. Corbin Smith on Twitter <clears throat> has this from uh, Carol. Carol again says Peterson signing is about winning this week and injuries team is dealing with at running back, reiterating that playing young guys just to play young guys isn't something he's keen on. I, I can't with this guy. I, I really can't with this guy. Like the Carol stuff, you guys know that I've never, I, at least the last couple years, I haven't been a big Carol fan. I haven't liked the way he's run this team. I haven't liked the way he approaches things. But I could kind of sort of live with it a little bit when, as long as we were winning more than we were losing. But now that we're 3-8, and eight, now that he's completely run this team into the ground, this stuff just... I want to drop kick him at this point, man. I, this is ridiculous. I mean, even... If, okay, if Josh Johnson isn't it, if you've seen something in practice from him that you really don't like, go sign somebody off the street. Go sign somebody who didn't get drafted and never got picked up. Go find somebody who's at least got some years in front of him. What is the point? E again, even if Adrian Peterson has a great game this week against the 49ers, that doesn't mean he's part of this team's future. So, um, Corbin Smith also had this. The real takeaway from all this, the Seahawks are still going all in. Technically, they're still alive in terms of playoffs, so they feel Peterson may be able to help in short term, has enough in tank to contribute. They're looking for anything they can to spark offense. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so, Pete Carroll is hitting us with the uh, dumb and dumber, so you're telling me there's still a chance. And then he's acting on that by signing veterans. Not in week three, not in week five, not, not, not before the season, not even three weeks ago when we had a little bit of life in us and it was a bye week and we had time to incorporate a new player and we were trying to gear up for that Packers game and we were bringing Wilson back. No, you're not going to do it then. No, then you like what you got. You're going to stand pat. You're, you're, you're cool with it. Even though at that point you already kind of knew Chris Carson was probably done. But now is that time? Now is the time to go get a veteran and spark the offense. Like, yeah, Adrian Peterson, who couldn't even stick on the Tennessee Titans. Yeah, that's going to spark your offense. I, 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 I know it isn't a big deal, guys, but this has triggered the hell out of me. I don't like it. I don't like the mentality here. And it represents everything that I don't appreciate about what Carol is doing to this team right now. I'm, I'm done. I'm out.